About nine months ago, I made a video about how to upgrade the thermal paste in your Xbox One X to liquid metal. I received a lot of comments from people saying that liquid metal doesn't last very long, you're going to have to replace it in not very long, and also people commenting saying the liquid metal would eat through the heat sink. Now, even though there is a copper heat sink on the Xbox One X, some people say that liquid metal can still eat through that. So today, we're going to find out if that's true. Now, one thing to keep in mind with this Xbox One X is that I actually don't play it very often. I've only played it a few times since I put the liquid metal in the console, but we should be able to still tell if it's causing any problems at all. So let's take it apart. Now before I get it all the way apart, I'm gonna turn it on to make sure it still works. I haven't played it for a good two months, so we do wanna make sure it still works before we check the liquid metal to see if it's eaten through any of the copper on the heatsink. Okay, we got power. Let's see if it turns on. So it does seem to power up and turn on normally. Now we can continue with the disassembly. Okay, I do see some discoloration there. I think that's just how it was already. Let's get the heat sink off, see what it looks like. And here we go. Okay, so there's the liquid metal. And there it is there. I don't see any initial damage. I do need to get it all off and then have a look at it after that. And you can see some of the little li liquid metal specks down in here. I'll clean those off. I'm not too worried about it. I did put conformal co coating on all of this, so it's not gonna reach any of these chips. But I will clean it off anyways, just to make sure that it doesn't get anywhere it's not supposed to be. Now this stuff in the middle is actually really hard to get off. It's really, I thought maybe it was embedded into the chip here, but it actually is coming off. It just got to scrub pretty hard. It makes me makes me kind of nervous scrubbing that hard on the APU, but it looks like it is coming off, so I think it'll be fine. Overall, it came off pretty well. There's this kind of like this chunk here in the middle that I cannot get off, and there's a little bit of like scuffing or something it looks like over here. So I don't think that'll really matter. I think that'll be fine when I, I'm gonna put in Arctic Silver 5 back in this and I think it's gonna be fine. It's gonna fill in any voids or any problems that these little pieces have caused. I'm gonna try and get it off a little bit more but I may not be able to get that part off. Okay, now it's time to look at the heat sink. Now this is the part that some people say will get damaged with liquid metal. Let's see. It's definitely pretty like scratchy. I know liquid metal can't really dry, but it just, that's almost what it seems like, is it's like dried out or something here. This liquid metal is coming off like in chunks. I don't know whether that's just the liquid metal or is that part of my heat sink as well. I don't know. Those are pretty big chunks of metal right there. So when I scrub on it hard like that, I do get kind of these chunks here. Yeah, there's more. Before I do any more scrubbing on the heatsink, I'm gonna look at it under a microscope to see what exactly is going on and if I'm pulling up liquid metal or if I'm pulling up parts of the heatsink.
By the way, don't ever scrape on your heat sink with anything metal or anything like I was doing because that'll create little tiny grooves in it. For the purpose of this video, I wanted to see if I could scrape off the liquid metal or if that was the heat sink, but that's the only reason I did it. I would never do it in normal circumstances. So as you saw in the microscope cam, it looks like maybe the liquid metal did actually integrate into the copper a little bit. I, it's really hard to tell. I can't quite tell, but I just can't get it all out. There's just no way to get all the liquid metal out. So as far as I can tell, it may have actually broken down the copper a little bit and kind of like integrated into it. Which brings up the natural question, is it gonna overheat now if I put it back together with normal thermal paste? That's the question I'm gonna answer next. Now, even after all that scratching, there's still little pieces that I can't get out. At least they don't come out easily. So that's why I think that maybe the liquid metal has kind of like gotten into the copper itself. You can also see there's kind of like a, almost like a diamond shape right here where there's been more liquid metal. This must have been the main contact area. I'm gonna clean this up a little bit more. Then we'll put some thermal paste on, and then we'll put it back together, start it up, and see what happens. Perfect. Now we need to see if it's gonna even turn on, and if it turns on, is it gonna overheat? Good news so far. Clearly it's been a while since I played this, since it, of course, has to update. But so far, everything is working fine on my console. It's staying nice and cool. Obviously, this doesn't mean it'll stay cool during intense gameplay or anything like that, but so far, I think it's gonna be fine. If I end up playing it and I see it overheat or something like that, I'll be sure to put a note in the comment section so you guys know the update on that. I'll put the video up on the screen where I install the liquid metal into my Xbox One X if you're interested in that, and I will see you over there. Thanks so much for watching, and I hope you have a good day.